Hello folks and welcome uh, to your next semi-exciting episode of the Tesla project. Uh, I want to apologize that we haven't had a video in a while. Uh, I've been kind of beating my head off a brick wall here in terms of the 10 kilowatt Gen 2 charger. But <clears throat> see that I'm somewhat breathless here is because literally about five minutes ago uh, we got the charger to wake up for the first time. Uh, I have been driving myself insane, uh, thinking just how you know complicated that this was, and you know maybe there was some kind of a particular dance of can messages and things I was supposed to do and never going to get right. So I've been pouring over the capture uh, from my friend's car and trying to figure stuff out. So. <clears throat> It turns out that the charger is smart, but it's not exactly Einstein. Um, and there's a few things that it wants to see before it starts giving out juice, but they're not difficult. <coughs> God, right. So the most important one is the timing of the application of the mains voltage. Uh, the AC mains supply. Now, this is the one that actually got us working because I'm set up over here on the bench. And I'll show you, 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 you guys the full test set up shortly, but just want to immediately tell you that the thing that was stopping the charger from working was the fact that Genius here was connecting the high voltage battery, turning the mains on, uh, hitting the enable line on the charger, throwing a can capture at it, and the charger was saying, oh, you know what, uh, no. And this is where I've been now for uh, quite some, t some time. Now, in a previous video, uh, you saw that we had identified the byte, or sorry, the message and the bytes where the charger holds both the high voltage battery voltage and the, the AC mains voltage. Now, of course, when I was looking at the capture from my friend's car, uh, you could see that, you know, he, he kind of, you know, opened the, the car, uh, you know, plugged the thing in, charged it for a couple of minutes, and plugged the thing out and you know gave me a powertrain can capture of that particular sequence. So you could see on the charger phase one messages that the mains voltage was not pre uh, present until a certain time into the can capture. A number that I'm never going to forget is 31645 because it's 31,645th message is when the mains voltage first appears. So, the trick to make this thing working is, give it the high voltage battery immediately, because if you, again, looking at the capture, you'll see that as soon as the car turns on, the high voltage battery is available at the charger. Then you enable the charger, then you throw the can capture at it, and then you gotta be pretty quick with the old main switch. Uh, as soon as 31,600 rolls across, you throw the mains on and the charger goes click, zzz, click, power comes on and we start charging. So, uh, I'm gonna attempt to demonstrate this to you um, and somehow not, you know, because uh, it's the thing where I can't rub my head and pat my, or, yeah. You know, anyway, sorry. Right, so I've got a clamp meter on the battery here and let me just show you what we've got going on because I'm probably not making more sense and I'm, 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 I can't even think of the words. You guys tell me what I'm doing wrong and then I'll stop doing it. Anyway, so 10 kilowatt Gen 2 charger is on the bench here. Note we've no cooling going to it um, and our, uh, logic board is completely disconnected. So I've got the chargers, 
tails here are completely disconnected and you'll see I've got this horrible mess of crocodile clips and resistors and stuff going in there. Uh, we've no connections on either of the front uh, ports either. I'm going to belch, sorry. It's all the excitement. Now, we have uh, a main supply here going to phase one, keeping in mind it's only phase one, this one here with the red light on it, that we're powering up at the minute. Um, mains going in from some grossly inadequate uh, wire. Uh, we have high voltage uh, connected here to again the phase one terminals and that comes back through a maze of wires, a heating element that works as a pre-charge, a 16 amp fuse holder and my <coughs> trusty mm, multimeter here uh, which I'm going to just reset because it's got this nasty habit of turning itself off just at the exact moment of uh, success. So. Um, and the hold button sometimes gets held. But anyway, so you see that's on the positive coming down from the charger here. Uh, now, then we have two Arduino Deweys and two laptops uh, running the SavvyCan program. Um, they're hooked into the two uh, Deweys, okay? So one of them, this computer here, has got the can capture uh, minus the phase one messages. So I've basically gone into my friend's uh, can, ca can capture, stripped out the messages from charger phase one, and we're then using this laptop and this Dewey to pump that can capture into charger phase one. This Dewey here is in monitoring mode and is going to this computer here. Uh, presently, it's basically just logging the frames at about 60 to 70 frames per second from the charger phase one. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to need both hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, make this work because, right, so what we do is we leave the mains off. We got to switch up here for the mains, so we have the mains off. We start throwing the can capture. When we get to around 31,000 on the frame counter, we have to hit the mains. There will be a kind of a clicky click thing go on within the, ch the charger. And then we'll see the current start to ramp up on the multimeter. Now, I'm a bit of a chicken. And I know this charger wants to go to 16 amps. Uh, so I'm going to, I kind of cut the can capture so that we don't go too high from my substandard mains cabling and all that. And yes, I will rig all this up and do all the stuff properly, but I just wanted to get it to work first. So, uh, let's see. Um, maybe, okay, I'll try just doing it, holding the camera. It's probably gonna be full Blair Witch, but uh, okay. So, right now we have mains off, HV is, is on, fuse is in, multimeters up. So let's start throwing the can capture in. Can capture is now going. We're up to around 850 frames per second. Uh, and now we're waiting for, we're waiting for 31,000 odd. Oh, this is super scary. Um, okay, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Throw those can frames. I don't even know what the right speed is for this. I'm just throwing them in as fast as they can go. Okay, here we go. Hand on this. Eight, nine. Men's on. Click for me. There's a click. Second click. Down to the multimeter. Ramp up, sweetheart. There she goes. She's ramping. Okay, got to kill the can capture before we melt something. Stop. And you'll hear another click, and then we're done. Now, what I then have to do is reset the 5-volt line 
Uh, so turn off the mains, reset the 5 volt line, then we can do it again. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put you guys down here with the multimeter, and hopefully we'll be able to see it. Put the light on on the multimeter, and then I'll do the crazy stuff up here, and uh, you guys can, you know, you guys can hopefully see the multimeter, and probably not. But anyway, okay, so... Once again, we reset the 5 volt line, which resets the charger module. We start throwing the can capture in, mains is off. Okay, God, I'm getting too old for this hacking stuff. It's wrecking my head. Okay, so here we go, 10,000 frames in. Hurry up and wait stuff. Fifteen thousand frames in. Okay, hand on the main switch. Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty one, mains on. There's a the click. Click number two. There goes the current. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. And that's it. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed that, and it was as good for you as it was for me. Um, I've obviously got a lot of work to do, because uh, we got to figure out what messages we need, and how fast they need to go in, and what sequence, and all that kind of fun-packed stuff. But we can repeatedly turn on that uh, charger now. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys there, and get my head and my ass wired together and see if we can further refine this uh, particular system. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Uh, links in the description to uh, GitHub where you'll find any relevant files for what I'm doing. Uh, links also for my Patreon and PayPal donations if you would like to uh, make a financial contribution to this mad shop. Uh, can't think why you would want to, but hey. Uh, so, yeah, so we will see you back in the next video. I'll try not to blow myself up. You guys do not blow yourselves up. And um, yeah, that's about it for today. Happy Tesla Gen 2 charger can message decoding. <laughs>